One, two, one, two. Uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos. Hello. Josué, how are you? Hey, hello. Nice to talk to you. How's yeah. it? Uh, so far, so good. Hey. What, have, yeah. what have you been up to? Um, yeah. Uh, for a moment, I finished. Uh, uh, my job. You did my task. Finished your day. You finished your day. Yes, yes. My task for this day. For today. My task. For today. Okay. Yeah. Great. And you? Um just dealing with the kids, you know, the house, the wife. The only things that we have to do, right? Yeah. You and you feel that you 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 can feel the difference in work in your home. Yeah, working. I mean, in the house, as you said. Yeah, the home chores, home chores are something I will say more difficult than working for a company or you know, and it's sometimes it's less entertaining. You know, it's more boring mm. to be yeah. at home. Like a routine, like a routine or it's a routine. Yeah, but you get bored of doing the same thing, cleaning the house, washing the dishes, washing the bathrooms. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of work. And and dealing with kids as well. Because you know, they, they demand they demand time. Yes, yes. You have yes, I, I don't know if, uh, how many kids do you do you have, have right? Three kids, yeah. Three, uh, ooh, a lot of time. Yeah. In the morning, afternoon, and night. Every day, yeah. Even after the class, uh, lately they, they wait for me. You know, 10, yeah. 11, 11, 30 p.m. and they're awake, waiting for, for me to tell a tell. Yeah, no. Tell. Hey, Alvin. Hey. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? What have you been up to? Hey. Uh, reviewing your domiciliar uh, prison. What? Your house prison. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, my prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking care of the prison. That's right. Okay, Maria, how are you? How's it going? Hey, teacher. I, I, I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine? Okay. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? <laughs> you remember? Hey, what have you been up to? Can somebody remind us what is the meaning of that question? What have you been up to? Can you remember? Ah. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What is the meaning of that word? ¿Qué te ha qué te ha hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? Okay, yeah, that's the okay. meaning. ¿Qué has hecho? Okay, ¿qué ha sido de tu vida? ¿Qué has pasado haciendo todo el día? Okay. <laughs> oh, ¿qué has all day, all day work, work, work from my from, from my house. From home. From home, and. Hasta two, two, six, six, six o'clock. Until? Six. Until six o'clock. So from 
8 a.m. to 6 p.m., let's say from 2, from 2. From, from 7 uh, at se, uh, until, until 7. Okay, so from <laughs> a.m. until 6 p.m. From 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. From 7 a.m. and until to? 6 p.m. Okay, repeat. From 7 a.m. From 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. To 6 p.m. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, Aleida. What have you been up to? Hello. Um, I was working today since 7 a.m. from to 4 p.m. And today was a uh, I had a, a a lot of availability, so I was playing in my in my cell phone. <laughs> okay, look at you. What do you play on your cell phone? The name of the game is Fish Dumb. Fish Dumb. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> In, I'm playing Gardenscapes. I used to I used to to play um, Call of Duty, but I didn't like the the game. Really, Call of Duty? Yes. Teacher. Wow. Okay. I I like Gardenscapes because it makes me sleepy. You know, <laughs> when I go to bed at night, I play at least five minutes and I'm already like falling asleep. <laughs> It works. It's working for me. You have to find a way to fall asleep quickly, quickly, you know, so you can take advantage of, of the night. And no, I, well, I mean, you cannot say Cain. Come on. When I when I want to sleep uh, quickly, I'm uh, search in YouTube uh, videos of I don't cuencos. Buenas noches. Cuencos tibetanos. Cuen, cuentos or cuencos? Cuencos. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know, uh, como cuchumbo. <laughs> really? Yeah, the, the girl uh, hit the, 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 the cuenco and sound, and, and, and made a sound, and it's so relaxing. Well, I'll look for that. Okay, interesting. Okay, so guys, welcome uh, to the 10 participants that we have right now. Give me just one second. I haven't opened my WhatsApp just to check if anybody has wrote anything on the group because I haven't checked it. And we are just 10 and we're supposed to be at least 16 or 15 as yesterday. So what's up today? What's, what's coming in this class? We're going to start again with uh, an open question that you will practice. We will practice. And then we will move on with the topic we will continue with yesterday's reading practicing yesterday's reading about what's the topic what are we talking about what is the topic of this unit exactly branding thank you <laughs> it is okay yeah branding let's do it okay let's start oh my god okay hmm Hmm. Let me find um, an easy question because we want the cycle product, the product cycle. Come on. Okay. Let's see. So, would you rather be blind or deaf? I think that's what we were practicing before. Remember? Would you rather? I would rather. You would rather. He would rather. It would rather. Etc. So, would you rather be blind or deaf? Would you rather be blind or deaf? What is the meaning of deaf, teacher? What? Deaf. What? What is the meaning? What? He's deaf because he can't hear you. So <laughs> uh -huh. oh, Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. So, would you rather be blind or deaf? Oh my God, this is a tough question. But look, listen, oh my God, this is a tough question. I think 
it's not easy to answer this question, but I will say that I would rather be deaf. Wow. Yes, I would rather be deaf because without sight, without being able to see, I, I can't imagine my life without seeing, you know, living in the darkness and just listening to the sounds. It's different if you see what is in front of you, what's going on, and you can have surgery. I mean, if I'm deaf, if I become deaf, I can have surgery, you know, and have my ears fixed, I guess, or wear, or wear some sort of device in my ears to be able to listen, okay? Be able to hear. So I would rather be that. I don't know you. What do you think? Okay? So you have a few minutes to practice this question, and then we will come back, all of us, to answer the question in group. Okay? okay? So no, this is the first question. We'll just do three and that's it, okay? We want to do this really quick. Please talk, practice, okay? That's the whole point of this first 20 minutes. Okay, let's do it. If, if, if I I will if I I have to choose a blind or deaf I I think I prefer I be de deaf because <laughs> I, I I can I can <laughs> I can live uh, without without see. I don't know, what do you think? Mm, it's very complicated. <laughs> but um, I prefer, um, I think, um, I deep, I prefer I am deep. But the eyes, <laughs> it, it's very important. Um, because I I am an independent. Oh, so I uh, oh, oh, I will. You I will 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 be more independent. Independent. I think no, it's, no, it's I don't know. It's correct. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> more in, what's that? Yeah. in Gabriel. Um, Okay, I prefer to what, be. What do you read? Reader. What? What? What do you read? There? You what will be, be blind, blind or deaf. I prefer to be deaf and not uh, blind. <laughs> I think all will read it. I can communicate with signs yes. and real lips, but blind. It's more difficult everything. <laughs> okay. yeah. um, your eyes, um, no, the, um, we make uh, um, communication with eyes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, my eyes are more important than my ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I think you <laughs> teacher how how do you say uh, evitar to avoid huh? Ab avoid avoid, avoid. Mm -hmm. We are we avoid avoid discu discuss discussions discussions <laughs> discussions with the other people I think other people with other with other people very good 
Okay, perfect, Maria, Elena, great job using the future there. Okay, good job, guys. Always continue trying to, to um, talk. That, that's the most important part of this activity. Uh, pronunciation, let's see, uh, intonation. Gabriel, you say important, important. Important. Important, okay, that's more important. So the sight, the sight sense is more important than the hearing sense, okay? The sight sense is more important than the, more important than the, the hearing sense. Excellent, very good, okay, continue practicing, continue. Okay. Okay. Right there to be deaf because now there are implant devices restored uh, hearing so that's the the benefit maybe but uh, if I would rather be deaf yes I would be rather be deaf so for that reason and be blind I don't know it's so hard I think Red there. Red there. Okay. Thank I would you. rather be deaf to I I I prefer watch see <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know you can see other person uh, you can see his hands or but or, Yes, I prefer. I think that I prefer to be blind because I I can't imagine my world without without hear my mom or hear my I don't know music for example. And if you are blind, um, I don't know you can't remind. If if in the case in the case you you lost your Sense, sense of, of vision, sense. sense of vision, and you can admire that if somebody describes you the things, but if you don't hear, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's difficult to imagine. <laughs> Or, or or to move when yeah. you are blind and when you and if you are deaf uh, you can you can but it's almost the same it's almost the same because if you are if you if you can see but you cannot hear and you can you don't be um, careful and some car is is too fast is dangerous too yeah <laughs> but for me i would rather to to be deaf Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, uh, and yeah. Can you? What things you can do and what things you cannot do, being yeah. or being deaf. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. What abilities do you lose? You be deaf, if, you can dance. Okay. If you are deaf, uh -huh. are. you can, cannot dance. What? Yes, you can dance if you're deaf. Because teacher, you teacher, oh. teacher, I think that that is loud, that. Music. loud music. Is your uh -huh. feel 
Do you feel the vibrations? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Alida. Teacher, but is is different when you're born with your sense, and then you lose it. Yeah. But but in, in this in this case, I think that I will rather to to be blind. I will rather be blind. I will rather be blind. I will I will rather be blind. Not to be. Uh -huh. I will rather be blind. Hey, um, they say that when you lose one of your senses, you dream about using. You dream about using that sense. What do you think? Can you imagine that if you lost your hearing ability, can you dream about sounds? Because if you lose one of your legs, I don't know if you heard about this, but when people lose their, their legs or one leg for the first second, when they wake up every morning, they still feel they have it. They still think they it, have it. It names, that names a ghost member or something like that. Yes, it's, it's, the, it's the absence of a member. And it's like, oh my God, your brain, your nerves are trying to connect with give orders they are trying to give orders to that to that part of your body oh my god uh, that's so weird can you imagine how your brain works okay it's amazing okay let's go back I cannot imagine. you cannot imagine no. No, really. so, hot. <laughs> so, so thank god we're complete right or hands or body oh my god okay let's go back great job girls Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> we we are eleven still. I was hoping for some somebody else to come in. Okay, um, let's see, Maria Soledad Gomez, can you please give me a letter between A and L? A letter between A and L. Is there not with us? There is not with us. Okay, letter G. Letter wow. G is in George. Okay, let's see. G, 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 in Genoveva. <laughs> Jacqueline Genoveva. 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 Joanna, Joanna. Ja Giovanna Guardado. Giovanna Guardado. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. So, what's the. <laughs> Alvin, what's the question? What well, would you rather? Be blind or uh, be deaf? Sorry, I can't hear well. You didn't get it, Alvin. Okay. What would you, uh, what would you rather? Would rather. Would be, would you rather be, come on. Would you rather be, would you rather be uh, blind or deaf? Oh, it's difficult <laughs> because both senses are very important. <laughs> but mm -hmm. if I choose one, I I would prefer um, the my my view my eyes <laughs> my beautiful eyes. <laughs> Sorry. No, nothing, nothing. Forget it. <laughs> okay. Um, I prefer... Um... Rather. Rather. I would rather. Yeah, look at the chat. Look at the chat. If I have to choose one, I would rather be... I would, oh. I would rather be... Every... Uh, okay, I, I would rather be... I... In this case... Um... In this case, I would rather be blind. Blind? Yes. Why? <laughs> yes, Why? because uh, I don't see the teacher anymore. But I, I, 
I can hear. <laughs> I could. And I could hear, yes. And and I think uh, my my family, my friends, and my partners um, describe me. The, would describe. Sorry, teacher. Repeat. Would describe. Could, okay, could describe. Would. would describe me. The um, around me, all around me. <laughs> describe the objects around me. Okay, they will help me describe the objects around me. They will describe everything for me. Everything. What if you have no one around? I mean, if you're alone, that's difficult. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Have you ever Have you ever seen uh, this movie, um, Seven Pounds? Mm. No. Oh, Will Smith. To the Will Smith, right? What's the name yeah. in Spanish. What's the name in Spanish? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. No, I, ha no, I haven't them. seen. Oh, they I haven't seen the movie. Okay, watch it. Watch it. I'm not gonna tell you what is about. What is it about? I'm not going to spoil the movie. Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no spoilers. Seven pounds, como siete libras. Exactly, seven pounds. Siete almas se llama en español. In Spanish, uh -huh. seven almas. Okay, good. Great job, guys. Remember, try to use what we are practicing all the time. Okay, second question, really quick. Okay, let's generate another one. What was the last picture you took on your phone? Oh, no, we don't want to know. What food do you like to snack on? We did that. Would you rather be poor or ugly? Nah. What is your favorite food? Oh, okay. I think that was a good one and I missed it. I don't know how to go back. Okay. Okay. What do you think about this one? What is something new that you've learned in the past week? Present perfect. Do you like that question? What is something new that you've learned in the, la in the past week? No? Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Aleda is like. Uh, yes. What do you think, Marvin? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go with that one. Okay, so what is something new that you've learned in the past week? I repeat, is something new that you've learned in the past week? Okay, in the last week, past week. I've learned that I am good as a delivery guy. I learned that I can work in delivery using the this ways uh, the Waze app. Using the Waze app, I can go anywhere I want. During the last week, I have, I have been I have been delivering uh, the glasses, you know, the protective glasses, um, and it has been a a hell of experience. I learned in the past week about new places. I went to this side of uh, Quesaltepeque. I met new places there, new residentials. And by the way, I learned learned in the past week that there are amazing, luxurious, luxurious residences in El Salvador. I didn't mean, I didn't know there were so many luxurious residences close gated communities you know it's amazing and going to santa ana too i i, I met um i got to, to know about this new place las lucernas i think is the name something like that and it looks like the united states states actually it's amazing okay so what is something new that you learned in the past week okay this time it will be shorter but I will visit you on your groups. So let's practice, okay? What is something new that you've learned in the past week? Questions? No? Okay. Let's do this really quick, okay?
feeling uh, idiom. <laughs> Teacher, how do you say me agarraron de sorpresa? <laughs> Got me. You catch me. You catch. Okay, you catch me, teacher. Cut <laughs> me. Cut me. Touch me. Cut me. Touch me. Touch me. Now, if somebody, if somebody surprises you, out of the sudden, they can tell you, "Got you." Got you. Yeah. That's on the movies. Got. Ya. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Um. The what question. is the question? <laughs> the is, question is uh, what is something new that you yeah you, that you've learned learned. learned in the past week in the past week learned um I I learned hmm. Mm, I in the I learned that Dubai has the biggest airport <laughs> of, the, of the world, the world's <laughs> biggest airport. But I imagine it's not working right now. And you is many. <laughs> Uh, in the past week, I learned uh, how to say the uh, uh, green pepper and tomato. Uh, I don't know how to say the uh, with my boyfriend because he is obsessed, obsessed, uh, obsessional, <laughs> obsessed, no sé cómo se pronuncia, with uh, how to. <laughs> Obsess, obsess, ah, obsessive. 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 obsessive with how to uh, uh, see the some uh, vegetables and, and certain things. So I learned how to see some vegetables. Mm. And you, Jacqueline? That's nice. Mm. Well, I I learned. I have to make a cheesecake. <laughs> Yummy. Cheesecake. Yes, um, a chocolate cheesecake. And, um, what is the other? The um, a strawberry cheesecake. Uh, because uh, my brother, yeah, he's a chef and he, he teach me. <laughs> about the process <laughs> of cheesecake. <laughs> oh, delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it touched me. Hey. Is I need delicious. some glasses. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? You need, you need a glasses. <laughs> some classes, some classes. Yeah. Some classes. <laughs> you need Jacqueline. Yeah. Some classes, yes. Taught. Taught. Uh-uh. Touch. Touch. Uh-huh. Taught. Touch. Taught. Taught. Yeah, he taught me. He taught me. Uh-uh. Look, taught. Taught me. Okay, he taught me. He taught me. He taught me the process. He taught me the process. He taught me the. He taught me the process. Taught, 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 taught. Taught, taught. <laughs> okay. He taught me the process to make a cheesecake. He to make a cheesecake. Taught me. He taught me how. Taught me. He taught me how to make a cheesecake. Perfect. How to make a cheesecake. Very. How to make a cheesecake. And Abigail, I didn't get it. Your boyfriend is obsessed with seeing vegetables or? Yeah. Sembrar seed. Oh, with seed, uh, with growing, yeah. growing vegetables. Yeah, growing vegetables. 
Okay, or oh. yeah. growing vegetables is uh, that um, well. cultivar, growing vegetables. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Let's keep going. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Do you say um, deuda debt? Mexico have debt, so uh, Mexico. Um, broke thanks to him and his decisions so uh, that was the second worst uh, crisis for uh, Mexico and that was uh, my my documentary for the last week nice very interesting very interesting yeah Mexico yes. Mexico is a, a rich country of resources in oil resources yeah but, but uh, the, the the politics man are very corruption yeah but like uh, like, like every country but in <laughs> mexico in mexico maybe another level. maybe more it's uh, it's a uh, 50 times our country 50 for me 50 for the country <laughs> no <laughs> No, the problem is uh, the um, the money of the oil uh, is for pay the, the debt. So uh, they uh, they never see the 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 earn about the oil. So the yeah. Okay. So eh, that's try to 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 do every every week. Try to to learn about a uh, different uh, government. Okay, this week that's I, good. I want to mm -hmm. quick I want to read about the tequila effect. Tequila. Well, the, yeah, the tequila effect is the the worst crisis, crisis in Mexico. Crisis, crisis in Mexico. Exactly. Benefits, thank you. Benefits of our oil plants, yeah. So um, that is wha what I want to do this this weekend. I want to read about Ernesto Cedillo and Carlos Serena de Gortari and how they destroy the economy uh, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, poor Mexican. They always uh, are near like, from like our, via like our. a developed country. And at the end of the day, uh, uh, the economy is in the how do you say sotano? Um, I don't know. Basement. Basement. Okay. Basement. basement. Yeah. Poor Mexicans. So, like a Salvadorian people, I think, right? Like a Mauricio Funes and I don't know others. Uh, like uh, person. Uh, no, but like many, people. like many. Okay, 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 okay. And that was the last question. We're going to move on, jump into the topic for today, and then continue with more activities. Okay, good. So in this session, uh, well, I'm sorry, before we move on to that part, um, I need a volunteer to answer that question. Thank you. Just one, just one, not two, just one. Come on, relax, chill. Okay, so what is something new that you've learned in the last weeks? Who wants to share? Who wants to share its experience? Mm -hmm. Me? Excellent, Maria, go ahead. Okay, um, the last week I have, I, I, I learned uh, uh, change change the use of mission in my in my in my work in my job. I am a, a technical support, oh. but uh, but uh, I I I have I I don't don't have a permission, but but do this. 
uh, change the other the other user change the the change the the, the permission the um the, the other the other the new application so sí. i in, in in this application um i i uh, now i can change the the le change the level level the permission permission level permission level that the 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 all, all users of all users oh my god how do you do that <laughs> don't, don't tell me right now okay i i i learned how to do that a long time ago um well i knew a lot of things actually i worked for dell i worked at dell with Dell computers and we used to provide technical support over the phone a lot of work okay that's interesting what else did you learn this so you're an it you are an it an internal technician yes IT. it okay that's it an internal technician interesting very yeah. good do you like it yes i like it very good thank you maria one applause for maria come on guys good okay Good job. Let's see. Uh, Maria, can you select somebody else or anybody volunteering? Raise your hand. Thank you, Ismenia. <laughs> it was a applause. <laughs> yeah, it was an applause. I was clapping. I was clapping. Everybody, I was clapping. I was clapping. <laughs> I was clapping. So, uh, with my in the the last week i learned how to grow in uh some uh vegetable or seed have vegetables like the green pepper tomato and uh i don't know how to say pipian but pipian too and how to keep uh, this vegetable and and just that I make I did uh, some TikToks too <laughs> and, and just that a detox diet. Sorry, you did you do a detox diet or a detoxing? Is that what a TikTok? Yes, uh, uh, social oh. media. Okay, I record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I recorded some TikToks. Okay. Yeah, uh, I yeah. You learned how to take care of these vegetables. Okay. How um, to yeah, yeah. take care. Good job. How to how to okay. Good job. Okay, guys. At this point, I mean you you all can speak, you all can talk, and that's very good. Okay. Don't be afraid of doing it. It's very important for you to continue practicing. No matter what you have to say, no matter uh, what you do, always practice, practice. I will always tell you that all the time. Okay, so let's continue, guys. We have to restart the same process that we did yesterday. We have a short conversation on page 27, and we're going to move to that part. We answered the first two questions of page 27. Is a weak um, is a weak brand a good investment? What happens when a brand doesn't meet customer consumers' expectations? And we Gabriel was telling us that uh, a weak brand could be an opportunity to invest. And if uh, and Frank was totally correct, um, telling us that if a brand doesn't meet the consumers consumers' expectations then it, it faces the decline stage of the product life cycle. Then we did this briefly, okay? So we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna role play this conversation just one more time because in, the, in this lesson, in the second hour during this class, we will learn how to use causative verbs. Causative verbs, and that's the grammar that we're about to learn. So, I'm going to read it one more time and then, then I will split you again so you can practice. Okay? It's important. So, 
Here we go. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I will either, I'm sorry, I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers it buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about. I will buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about. See what all the fuzz is about, okay? Now, before I split the class, any questions, any new words? New words? No, teacher. Okay. El que cayó. Okay. Teacher. Neither. Thank feather. you. Feather. What is a feather? We said it. In yeah. Spanish. And no, in English. No. Okay, it's a plume. <laughs> Good. Okay. Then we have float. What is float? Fly. Mm. Uh, no. It's flotar. Flotar. When, when you are the when you are on the pool, you float on water. If you are fat like me, yes, you float on the water. Oh. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, and then somebody said, what is pause? F-U-S-S, -S. what is pause? Okay, we said it in Spanish, you know, because there's a perfect translation. What is it, Alvin? Relajo. What Alvin does every class, yes. A fuss. Stop the fuss. Okay, good. No more. Regardless. Come again, Gabriel. Regardless. Reliable. Where is reliable? Oh, really? No, where? Regardless. 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 Make customer buy it regardless of price. Good, regardless. No matter. Without, without caring about the price, without caring about the price, no matter the price, regardless. That's the meaning, no matter what. Okay. okay. Let's go. This picture is on your chat, so make sure you practice. I will split the class this time in couples. Okay. So we're going to be in couples really quick. Exactly, six couples. No, wait. Gotta be, it's gotta be six. Okay, five. Let's go. Image. 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 That's conversation or do you have a book? No, I have the in WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who start? You. Okay. <laughs> What's this TV at? They are selling shoes that can make you float like a they are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of shoes. They are expensive. I will. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promised may customer buy. It regardless of price. Maybe they really really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think 
I need to buy a pair to see what are the cost is Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm Andrea. Okay, great job. Okay, let's take a look at some things here. Um, so, uh, the first question that we need to learn to pronounce again is feather. 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 Like that, feather. 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 Yes. feather. Now, this word, shoes. Shoes. Okay. It is, it is with an H, S H. Okay, shoes, 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 shoes. There you go. Shoes. Be careful. Don't say choose. Who's is the is the verb right to select? Okay, shoes. Um, Ida, we need to work on. Plurals and third person verbs, for example, but a brand that delivers what it promises, delivers what it promises, 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 what it promises, 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 says, okay, promises, promises. It, it sounds like promises. says, says, says. Oh. Promises. Okay. okay. Makes. Promises. There you go. Makes customers. Makes customers. Uh -huh. Buy it. Continue. Buy it. Perfect. Regardless of price. Regardless. Regard regardless. 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 Okay, perfect. Regardless. Okay, can you start reading that part? I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised this makes customers buy it regardless of price maybe they they really make you faster perfect that's better much better thank you very much okay continue do it again practice again good job thank you <laughs> okay that would be but the brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy regardless of price maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy the shoes. I think I will buy a pair to to see what all the the force is about. Okay. Mm. Uh, Rafael, can you read it? Uh, oh. The second part of, of Andrea, please, for us. Second part. I wouldn't either, but uh, I wouldn't. Okay, so again, I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price, regardless of regardless. Maybe they really make you faster. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay. again, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, okay, Andrea. What? Uh, Maria, Maria, do you want to be Vincent? Okay. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of, of those. Of, those? <laughs> of, uh, of those. They are too expensive. Too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it, pr what it promised makes customers buy it regardless 
promises of price. Maybe they really made you faster. Repeat, promises. 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 Mm -hmm. Home, homework. Is it promises, promises. I always make the mistake. And promises. All, all the promises broken. Promises? Broken. I think this is Def Leppard or... Oh my God, I can't believe... I, I, oh, oh, oh uh, Candlebox. Candlebox, I think. The name of the group. The band. Candlebox. Or Silent Asylum. No, silent Asylum or Candlebox, I can't remember. Okay. That's the name of the... Um, of the band, Silent Asylum or Candlebox, I can't remember, but there's a song name, All the Promises Broken. It's a, an 80s, an 90s song, very good. Okay, continue. Vincent. The maker, the makering department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fault is about. What what all the fuss is about? What all the fuss is about? What, what all, all the fuss is about? Perfect, Maria. Great job. Okay, good job, guys. Um, I thought you were going to make the mistake of saying shoes instead of shoes. 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 Yeah, just like shoes. Shoes. <laughs> or like when you are with la gallina, right, with the hands, and you go like shoes. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Jacqueline, you know. <laughs> Great job. Okay. Let's go back to the main session, guys. Great job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's time for us to check the attendance of this group. Thank you for being with me, guys. I know you don't like to see my face, you know, sometimes, but I really, I'm starting to like you guys. So thank you for being here with me. Don't leave me alone, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go with Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. <laughs> Excellent. Marvin Jose Aguilar Martinez. Here. Excellent. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzman. Here. So you, okay. Bertha Patricia Aleman de Argueta. Present. Thank you. Let me do something really quick. He's here. Thank you. Is Menia Abigail Trejo Hernandez. Here. Xiomara Hernandez de Lima. Here. Thank you. Xiomi, Xiomara, Xiomara, no, not here today. Okay, Alvin Jose Silva Romero. Present, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Marilena <laughs> Tura. I am here. Thank you. Eunice de la Paz Jimenez. Here. Excellent. Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Still not with us, okay. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. No. Melissa Ivet Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Okay, if you may please turn on your camera. Saida Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you. Walter Ham Hernandez Sanchez. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here. María Soledad Gómez. Here. Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz Cedillos. And Aleida Raquel Vázquez Sunsin. I'm here, teacher. I love your name. Very good. Okay, let's move on, guys. What is next? What's next? So after reading that conversation again, Let's talk about comprehension. And something that I want to emphasize, don't say choose. Don't say choose. Choose. Say, 
Shoes. 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 Like sh shoes. Shoes. There you go. Okay. No, no, no. Like this. Shoes. Yeah, look, when you go like sh sh Or in the microbus, right? In the microbus, you go like sh 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 sh. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What else? You say feather. Feather. Father, father is father, no, feather, feather. And feather. And fuss. 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 What's the fuss? Okay. Good. Let's go with the next part. Let's check your comprehension of the lecture. What is the first question? So looking at the conversation, can you fill out the blanks? Fill in the blanks? A brand that delivers what it promises. Just make 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 customers buy it. Buy it. Buy it regardless of price. Very good. Number two, Gabriel. Yes. Okay, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. It's a phrase on the conversation. They get get they get all. They yeah. they get all these people. Oh to buy. To buy. To buy. Yeah. To buy their shoes. Very good. Do you agree with the first statement? Do you agree with the first statement? What was the first statement? <laughs> Oh, maybe this one, right? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, what statement? I think it's the statement on the converse on the questions. So a brand. You flop. No, this 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 um, statement. Okay. Branded delivers what? Okay. Uh huh. Make makes customers buy it regardless of price. Do you agree with that? What do you think? What do you think? Brand that delivers with promises. Makes it, makes customers buy it regardless of price. So no matter what's the price, if you deliver what you promise, people will buy your product. Is that true? Yeah. Is that correct? What do you think? Yeah. If you, yeah, I think. Yes, I think. Can give me. An, I think yes. <laughs> can you give me an example of a brand that delivers what it promises? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Uh, Thirty thirty minutes. Actually, that they have failed. They have failed <laughs> on, on me three times. They failed delivering the pizza. Or but that is a question. Okay, that is bad luck, but. <laughs> Okay, what else? What other product do you know that really delivers what it promises? Apple? Um, uh, Amazon? Amazon? Yes. Yeah. iPhone? I, iPhone. Have, I have ordered, I have ordered things from Amazon and always get what I do. eBay? You know what, that's a great example. Because you're ordering online and they give you all the pictures, all the angles, all the angles of the product before you buy it. They give and you- And they send the, the dimensions. They give you the dimensions too. For example, with shoes, right? You can see the, the size, I mean, yeah, that's crazy. The size in USA, the size in UK. The same way it is on the shoes, that's right. I think that's a good example. Yeah, because DHL- or Federal Express, it's not a good example, <laughs> right? Their delivery service sucks. Not good. Okay, good. Let's go. You have bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I have bad luck with pizza. That's true. That feeling, that feeling when you get to read aloud in class, success. Okay. 
Guys, we're going to do something a little bit boring, but entertaining at the same time, okay? We're going to read together. Yes. Okay. Okay, so there's uh, something about branding that we need to understand. How to make a brand strong enough, remember, strong enough for your audience, your target market, your niche of market to like it. You see this? This is an info, info, in, in, infogramma. How do you say that in, in English? Oh my God, wait. Infography? Info, infography, thing, yeah. You see, it's really long, okay? But you can zoom in and read it. So we're gonna start with Alvin, since Alvin is falling asleep. Can you see it? Five comp, yeah, I can. Excellent. Yes, you can. Five components of a strong band. Brand, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> brand. Okay, wait, wait, Number let one. me prepare my, my, my whistle, okay? <clears throat> no, wait. Okay. Here, I can hear, I can, I can see uh, the image. Yeah, I can see the image. Yeah, me either. Thank you for letting me know. One second. Let me send it to you really quick. So you can all have it. It's a very long image. There you go. Okay, so here we are. Sorry for the interruption, sir. Don't worry. I thought you were going to say, I can't, I can't read it. No problem. Okay, let's go. Five components of a strong brand. Number one, have a clear why. Hmm. People don't buy what you do. They buy what you do it. Why do you do it? I came to read the next. Oh, okay, now, now I can. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I came to read. Okay, I can't read. Before before, okay, okay. Before you can create a successful brand, you need a strong why. What do you believe in? Wait, you can't create. You can create a successful. Repeat, successful. Successful, successful. Successful brand. Successful, fill up. Successful, <laughs> successful brand. Okay, guys, start <laughs> studying right now. This is the game. If you fail, if you fail on the pronunciation, you have to start again, okay, Alvin? So you have to start from okay. four. You can create a successful okay. brand, successful brand. Okay. Before you can create a successful brand, you need a strong why. What do you believe in? Great branded companies start with their why. The why engages us. Uh, no, the why engages us emotionally, while the what and how serve as the evidence of the belief. Okay, serve as the. You have bad luck. <laughs> yes, as the evidence. Let me test the audio. Okay, did you hear that? Yes, good. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Serve as the evidence, as the evidence of the belief. Okay, very good. Okay. Good job, Alvin. Let's move on. So, again, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So, start with the why, move to the how, and then the what. Let's move on. Who's next, Alvin? Mm, let me see. Maybe mm, Berta Patricia. Okay, Berta. I mean, Patty. Hmm. Okay. Berta, you are muted. 
Turn on your microphone, please. Okay. Don Angelot. Thanks. Everyone knows what they do. Everyone knows how they do do it. Now explain why you do it. I said eh. Okay, repeat. <laughs> how they do it. It it. How they do it. How they do it. It. Why how they do it. There you go. How how they do it. Okay, start again. Start again. Number one. Everyone knows what they do. Everyone knows how they do it. It. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. Perfect. Now. Now explain why you do it. You do it. You do it. You do it. Okay, repeat. Why you do it? Why you do it? Why you do it? Faster, faster. Why you do it? Why you, why you do it? Why you do it? I'll explain why you do it. Repeat. Now explain why you do it. Now explain why you do it. Okay. Thank you very much. Continue. Uh, select somebody else. Okay. Um, Eunice. Thank you, Eunice. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All of your advertising should start with your why. Explain why you do what you do, then explain how do you, how you do it, and finally, what is that you do? You were very close. <laughs> and finally, what, what it is. What it is. What it is. What it is. What it is that you do. Excellent. What it is what you, what it is that you do. 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 Yes. There you go. Well, you got it. You got it. Very good. Excellent. Select somebody. Um, let me see. Let Maria Soledad. Okay, Mary. Sixty-four percent of people say share values, shared values. Repeat. The name values. 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 I don't values. Know, values. I don't know how to values. write on this thing. Uh, spotlight. Oh, there it is. Okay. Values. You see this? The uh, values. finally it is working. Okay. Values. Values. Okay. Start again. Values. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Start again, please. Of, of people say. <laughs> Of people say share values as the main reason they have a relationship with a brand. Very good. That was a lot better. Thank you. Okay, can you select somebody? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Uh, it's not to do business with people who want what you have. The goal is to do business with people who believe what you believe. Who believe what you believe. Close. Very good. Who believe what you believe. It was intonation. Who believe what you believe. What you believe. Very good. Excellent. Select somebody. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, let me see where is this thing. Okay. Clear. This is number two. What was number one? Can somebody tell me what was number one? Excellent. Explain the why, right? Explain the why. Thank you very much. Okay, Gabriel, can you read? A clear brand promise. Uh huh. Let me see. Please give me a minute. Okay. Where is your company's creed? Where is that overall message you? <laughs> Bus to your customer and employees. Okay. Is this creed? I'm sorry, message. Creed. Where message. You? Message. You pass to your customers and employees. Pay attention, guys. Message employees. and employees. Message. Promise. Promise. Mm -hmm. and promise or promise? Promise. Promise. Okay, what is promise your... You. What is that okay. old message you pass to your customers and employees? Employees. Employees. Pretty high. Okay. Employees. It's the stress. There's a stress. There you go. Employees. There you go. Employees. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? Uh, next. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Ricardo. Alexander Rodriguez. Okay, Ricardo. And here's where we were, right? 45%, Ricardo. Hello. 40, 45. Oh crap, sorry, I'm sorry. One second, okay. Go back to the same spot. Okay, forty-five percent. Ah, forty-five percent of 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 in the branding image. Okay, can be brand's image. Repeat. A tribu. Of. Ah, of a uh, of. A brand's image uh, of a brand. Okay, yes, Ricardo. Vamos. A brand's image of a brand. A brand Digo. image of a brand. A brand's image. 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 Uh -huh. Image. Can be. Image. Mm -hmm. Can be. Can be. Attributed. 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 A excellent. Attributed to. Attributed to. Mm -hmm. What is say. What it says. Repeat. What it says. Home is. Home, home is. Say it. Repeat. What it, what it say? What it says? What it says? Ah, uh, what it say? Excellent. And how it says it? Repeat. And how it says it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. And how? Uh, in in har hari repeat and how in how mm -hmm. look in at how and how 
aking how it says it it say x it says it 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 say x it says it it says it in it says it said okay it says it okay. it said so here it says says it very good says it says it it says it uh, it says it there you got it it says it <laughs> okay uh, it, it's an it's it. <laughs> there you go it says it there you go Good. nice try Rick. try let's keep trying okay who's next ricardo okay ricardo select somebody Teacher. Oh. See, uh, may I go to the bathroom, please? Yes, you may. Okay. Uh, thank you. Well, Maria Soledad. Okay, let's Maria go. Soledad. Listen, make sure. Oh, Maria Soledad. Okay, Maria Soledad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make sure your company delivers on what you say you will if you are not actually delivering on your brand promise your losing brand loyal loyal loyally loyalty loyalty okay promise your losing brand loyalty promise 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 very good so Excellent, very good. Brand promise, you're losing brand loyalty. 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 Excellent. Loyalty. Excellent, very good. Okay, who's next? Okay, let Francisco. me... Francisco. Frank, yeah, Frank hasn't read. A clear target market. A clear target market. <laughs> Repeat. Tar <laughs> target. Target. Okay, start again. A clear target market. A clear target market. Okay. Who is your ideal? Uh -huh. Who is your ideal customer? I don't see the image. You don't see the image. Okay, let me do it again. Let me make that bigger. Where is it? A clear target market. Okay. Okay, who is your ideal customer? Who is your ideal customer? Or ideal customer. You made it. Okay, your audience. Idea. <laughs> Okay. Your audience is not everyone. You need to have a target audience. For every believer, there is a non-believer. The best way to figure it out oh. who they are is to figure out who they are is to create buyer pers personas for your company. To create buyer personas. Personal or buyer persona. Personas, yeah, buyer it's, it's for your customer. It's weird. I know, but when in English they use this word as personas, they are talking about um, a figure, like a, a, a profile, a profile. So, oh, okay, I understand. No, a profile. Yeah, when you when you want to figure out a niche of market you need to describe who is your target audience. so you describe the person my 
for it's new. Mm -hmm. My 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 target, my niche of market is people between um, seventeen to twenty six. Uh, they are female and male. People, exactly. And so on. You just, mm -hmm. That's right. That's a, describe. A mm -hmm. That's a persona. Excellent. Very good. Persona. Okay. So your audience is not everyone. That's a a niche of market, right? Who is your ideal customer? You have to figure out who is a customer. customer. This is a clear target market. So number one, why? Number two, what was number two? Come on, a clear brand promise. What do you offer? What do you have to offer? And then we have the who, who are you offering it to? A clear target market. Customer loyalty. Okay, customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. I repeat, customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. Select somebody, Frank. Okay. Carla Eugenia. Oh, thank you. Carlita, what do you understand out of this? Customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. Uh, because um, they, um, if they're loyal, let's say they always use their brand. And always, and they can uh, transmit to their friends, their family. So to, to to mouth to mouth, they they will uh, make um, how do you say publicity? Free publicity. There's nothing better in marketing than free publicity. Mouth to mouth. That's why it is so popular. Everybody talks about your brand. Thank you, Carlita. That was awesome. And think about the number. One customer, a loyal customer, can buy 10 times. In, the, in time, you know, he will be back with you at least 10 times. will buy the same product 10 times at least. So that's why customer loyalty can be worth 10 times as much as a single purchase. I will move on uh, with the topic, okay? If this thing doesn't go back to where it was okay your non-believers your non-believers help you identify who you are not set yourself apart from your competition your non-believers the people who say about your product your brand oh no that brand doesn't work that's not a good brand they are non-believers they will help you identify who you are not so they will tell you, you suck. I mean, you, your brand is not good. And since you believe, you believe in your product, they will be telling you what you are not. Make sense? The Set, haters. Haters, as Carlita said as well, yeah. Set yourself apart from your competition. Okay? It's very important. Let's move on. Let's see. Number four, clear branding design consistency clear branding design i'm sorry clear branding and design consistency what is this about don't think of consistency as being boring if you're using a consistent voice logo imagery brand promise and colors you're making your brand easily recogni recognizable 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 think of famous brands and their consistency apple mcdonald's coca-cola etc okay and today's thursday i'm gonna make a stop here i will leave you a homework let me think about it if you have Netflix, if you don't have Netflix, you can use PV Info. If you don't have Netflix, 
and you have to look for this movie. It's McDonald's Story. I don't know if you have seen that that movie, McDonald's Story. But the name of the the partner, what was the name of this movie? You know who 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 plays that movie? Uh, who's in that movie? Uh, Batman. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. First Batman. What's the name of the movie? Carla, I forgot in English. In English. Uh, yes. Power. And in Spanish is the El Socio, right? I think. I forgot the name. Oh my God. Anyways, so that's your homework. In, in Spanish is. In the in Spanish, I think is El Socio or. The founder. The founder. That's the name. Thank you, Carlita. I don't know where will I be without you. Okay, the founder. Just take you longer. <laughs> <laughs> the founder. <laughs> Thank you. That's the name of the movie. So on the weekend, during the weekend, not, not tomorrow, not today, but look for that. Look, watch that movie. Yeah, Carlita? Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on. So talking about the human brain can process images about 60,000 times. Listen, the human brain can process images about 60, thousand times faster than it processes words and it's true that then you think you you see an image and it gets you i mean it gets you right away an image but words you're listening to me right now and oh my god you're looking at you're watching a, the image right now you're looking at the image okay 71 percent of marketers report using visual assets as part of their content marketing strategy that's a marketing strategy they'd rather they'd rather use images instead of words and that's true okay the average users spend about 10 seconds on a website before deciding if they are interested in sticking around or not okay I need you to participate. Can somebody tell me what is the verb stick around? What is the phrasal verb stick around? They are from the stay. Hmm. Um, stick around. Yeah, the verb stick around, stick around. Here it is conjugated in the first um, present continuous, present continuous and sticking around or not. What is stick around? If I tell you, okay guys, stick around, stick around, I'll be back, okay? I'll be back, stick around. Okay, I'm back. No, quedarse, okay? Quedarse pegado por un rato. Esperar. Okay, or not. Okay. Okay, this, this initial 10 seconds are made entirely of visual first impression. Okay, regarding this point, um, regarding this point, clear branding and design consistency. I worked, I worked at an outbound account once as a seller. I had to sell uh, TV programming. I had to sell TV programming, Cinemax, HBO, uh, TNT, you know, all of these channels. And I had to call the clients. So I had to call them and I had 10 seconds to convince uh, the caller to stay, to stick around and listen to me. 10 seconds to convince somebody. Hey, uh, do you have a minute? My name is Rafael. I'm calling you from, what was it, Dish Network. I want to let you know that you have the option of watching better programming on your TV. They were like, oh, no, 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 thank you. No, 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 thank you. Bye-bye. 10 seconds. You had to be very convincing. Okay. Are you following? Teacher, that's what it happened, also happened in the TV publicity. They had to catch the, the, the attention of the, of the audience in the first 
10 seconds. That's why the, the, the I don't know, how do you say anuncios? Commercials. The commercials are short. The TV ads, the commercials, yes. That's why the spots. Publicity spots, that's right. Literary spot, yeah. The most common is ads. The TV ads, radio. Ads. TV ads. Advertisements. That's right. They are very short. You're right, Aleda. See, they have to captivate, captivate the audience in 10 seconds. Okay, let's see. Color increases brand recognitions. Color increases brand recognition by up to 80%. If you remember the homework that you're doing, that you're doing every day, I told you to use colors, okay? And this will make sense to you. Okay, a company's logo is their visual representation of their brand. So it had better uh, be a damn good one. Oh my God. <laughs> So it had better be a damn good one. Okay, that's a bad word. Okay, let's move on. Clear marketing strategy. Strategy. What are you going to do? Okay, very important or absolutely critical. I'm gonna stop here this reading because reading is boring, but it's very interesting, right? Um, okay, good. Now let's go with the grammar, guys. Straight to the point. Let me close this thing. My kids just bought a, a Nintendo Wii today. And they're very excited playing. I don't know if you can hear them. Take it, take it, jump, jump. Look at that, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with how to use causative, causative verbs. Okay. Now, this is very simple, guys. The use of causative verbs. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. So please pay attention. Yes. We use causative verbs to explain that something is making someone or something do something. Do something. Remember that verbs are actions. So, in this example, you see, drawing, here it is, okay. So, in this example, we're missing the subject, okay? So, a subject, sorry, excuse my drawing. I've not done the drawing with this thing yet. Okay, so, subject plus make plus someone plus verb in base form. We will just see the first part of this content and tomorrow we will see the second part. So a subject plus get plus someone or something plus an infinitive. Remember, the verb in base form is without the two. You don't need the two here, okay? So the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. So who is the subject here? Can somebody tell me? Uh, Saida, who, what is the subject here? The marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. The subject, the marketing. Okay, that's the subject. The marketing. Yes. The marketing department, yes. Okay, the marketing department, that's the subject. Very good. What is the verb? We have make, so we have to use make. Okay. And who is someone, Saida? Who is someone here? Employees. Employees are that someone. Very good. And then you have a verb in its base form. What is the verb in its base form? Revise. Revise, very good, so there you have. Okay, the marketing department is the subject, make, or using make, someone, and the verb in its base form. So they make them do, remember this, they make them do this, and usually you will have the reason why 
they make them do something, or the time period, the time frame in which they do it, like in this example. And metrics every month, every month, they make them do that every month. Okay, the next sentence, the poor identity, I'm sorry, the poor identity, the poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. Uh, Alvin, can you help me? Who is the subject here? What's the subject noun? The subject sentence. And the poor identity. Guess that? The poor... Uh, the subject. Yeah, what is the subject? Okay, it's uh, the poor identity of the brand. Up to there, right? Exactly, thank you, sir. So yes, up to here, you have the subject. The poor identity of the brand. So we're talking about the brand. The brand is the subject, but the poor identity of. So this quality of the brand, the poor identity, is the quality of the brand. Made people look for products from different companies. What's that? That's what they did. Okay, and the last one, the brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Now, do you have a question? Do you have any questions? Is the is this part clear? Is this part clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you give me an example, please? Mm, using the, the, the words of marketing also. No, I don't know. You're old. Okay. I will try. Um, um, your mother uh -huh. made... <laughs> Your mother makes makes you clean up your room, your room. Perfect. Your mother makes you clean up your room. Your mother makes you clean up your room. Very good. That's an affirmation. Excellent. Thank you, Leda. Abigail, can you give us an example? <laughs> it's just as many as like. Like a cat right now. Come on, wake up. Okay. Let me try. Mm. Look at the formula. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Rodrigo makes... Uh, I don't know. Okay, you have to focus on this. Someone. Yeah. You, you need a someone to complete that phrase. Mm. Okay, Rodrigo makes who? Uh, other, uh, another example. Uh, my my boyfriend make me make me cook make me cook uh, cereal for example. <laughs> okay, good for break for breakfast. My boyfriend oh, breakfast, yeah. makes me cook cereal for breakfast. Do you cook the cereal? <laughs> well, you have to boil the water. <laughs> yeah. You have to boil the water. Yeah. The, the milk, maybe. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Good. That was a clear example. Okay. Thank you. Frank, do you have an example? No. No. <laughs> Let me see. Let me try. Uh -huh. uh, Um, 
Yes. Oh, do you have planes? Uh -huh. Planes. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't have an example right now. Teacher, I have another example. Mm -hmm. What? Yes. This means Somewhere, please. Frank, my wife. This topic makes, get, makes me get crazy. <laughs> okay, that's a good example. My, this topic makes me crazy. Make, makes me get crazy. Yeah, makes me get crazy. That's an example. Very good. Guys, grammar is just about replacing factors, replacing pieces of a puzzle. So here you need a subject, I tell you, and then make, and then someone in the verb in the space form. We will do some examples, okay? We will do some exercises right now. Okay, so let's move on. The second option you have to use um, causative verbs in this first section is get plus someone plus the infinitive of the verb. And the infinitive is just adding the preposition to before the verb. Okay. So, for example, I can get customers to love or premium services. Be careful with this. Don't forget, it is infinity. You have to use the infinity, okay? To love or premium services. The project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. And I made it, I did it wrong, hold on. Okay, the project manager said it is not possible to get all the, those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. The advertising event will, then we just get people to order products online more often. Get people to order. Get all those customers to feel. Get customers to love. Now, if you, I know this is difficult because of the context, right? So do you have any questions or give me more examples? Somebody else? And my, my sister, my sister get her doll to eat. My, six, my sister gets her dog to eat. Yes, I will take that. My sister gets her dog to eat. Her dog to eat. Okay, but you're not, not saying le da a su perro de comer. How will you translate? How will you translate this sentence? Anybody? Or Maria? Consigue, consigue que su perro coma. Consigue. Okay, good. Oh, oh. Another homework. Oh, come on, more homework. Alvin made me play football last Sunday. Good. My cat gets, gets, third person. My cat gets food to eat in my kitchen. Gets food to eat in my kitchen. Third person. Están fallando bastante en eso. Acuérdense, las terceras personas se modifique el verbo. Ok, voy a pasar a español un segundo porque quiero que comprendamos todos algo. Ya notaron que lo que vamos a modificar en el tiempo gramatical que estemos ocupando es este verbo. Get. Ok. So, decíamos que la clave es un sujeto más get, más someone, más infinity. Entonces, yo voy a modificar esta partícula, el get, y por eso aquí está con un... Um, es, se está utilizando con diferentes cosas. Se está utilizando con un modal... I can, or I cannot get, or can I get. Acuérdense, modales. Okay. Luego se ocupó. Okay, me said, es el pasado, said, it is not possible to get all these customers to fill. 
usted está ocupando en pasado. ¿Ok? Ok. Luego, the advertising events, mira, futuro. Will get people to order products online more often. Lo mismo ocurre con make. Esto es presente simple. Ok. Esto es pasado. Right? Y esto es pasado nuevo. Okay. Entonces modifico make o get. Y es tan fácil como seguir esa fórmula. Ok. Exactamente cualquiera de estas dos formas. Puedo ocupar make o get. So let's look at some more examples from your book. Alguien tenía una pregunta, perdón, perdón. Ah, se fue el inicio. Ok, ¿alguien tenía una pregunta? Questions, questions, questions. Por favor. Pues eh, yo entendí más ahorita con esta explicación en estos tres minutos sobre la, la intención del, del ejercicio, la verdad. Ok, perfecto. Se entiende más en español cuando ves algo en gramática y lo ves eh, en español la primera vez o la segunda vez. También eh, es bueno que lo ubiques en tu tiempo. Se lo dije en cierta ocasión al principio de una clase. Ok. Good. So. Questions. Preguntas. Preguntas. Quiero estar seguro de que están entendiendo qué es lo que estamos haciendo. Si no, vemos ejemplos y tal vez así. ¿No? ¿Sí? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Good. Good. More example, please. More. I can get it. So I can get it. Excellent. But I will take this out of the context. I don't think this is. Vamos a sacar del contexto y luego ustedes realizan en su libro los ejercicios, ¿ok? Yeah, thank you, Lady. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I think this is it. There it is. Ok. Bien. Eh, ahí hay un video, pero me gusta el acento de esta chica. So. Es tan fácil como ocupar make, oh, perdón, make o get y entender que cualquiera de esos dos eh, se van a ver afectados por el tiempo gramatical que estés ocupando. So, for example, we cannot see. I know, I know. Not, this is green, green color. Not good. Okay, this, this is the first filling you need to do. The principal made or got the students Clean the classroom last evening. So, segunda regla. Número uno, modifico el tiempo, el, al tiempo gramatical que voy a ocupar, ya sea que estoy ocupando make o get. Número dos, si estoy ocupando make, no voy a ocupar el infinitivo del verbo. Ese to clean, to, to see, to work, to cook. No. Voy a ocupar el verbo en su forma base, sin el to, sin la preposición. Si ocupo get, Voy a ocupar el infinitivo. Ahí sí, tengo el tú a la, a la forma base del verbo. Ahí se está, ¿verdad? Así quedó claro. So, ¿cuál super sería? claro, súper claro. ¿Cuál sería? Ya, o grita mejor. <risa> ¿Cuál sería la mejor opción acá? ¿Made o got? The principal. Got. Made. 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 Ajá, made. ¿Por qué? Porque no tengo una preposición. Por el verbo. Verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Es, es, Los, <laughs> okay, the students. Clean. Su forma natural. Su forma base. Forma base. Base. Okay. Okay. Made the clean. Clean the classroom. Okay, very good. That is correct. Second, Tina always gets her brother to help complete her project by giving him, or made her brother to help completing her project by giving him. Made. Gets to. Gets to. Gets to. Thank you. No adivination. Okay. No adivination. Think about it. Think, think, think. ¿Por qué es gets to? Tina always gets her brother. Y dijimos que con get, Gabriel, get. Change the verb. Vamos a ocupar el infinitivo. El infinitivo. Infinitive. Ajá. El, el, la preposición, el verbo. Esto más esto. Junto con get. Hoy sí. Vamos a ver. My roommate makes me cook his dinner. Perfect. Thanks. Thank you very much. Igual el ejemplo que hizo eh, Abigail. Sí. Ajá. 
My roommate makes me cook his dinner. He doesn't Cereal. know for an answer. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> he makes me cook cereal. Okay. My manager. And milk. And milk. My manager. Made. Made me submit my reports on. Made me submit. No hay un tú aquí. Okay. Very good. Made me submit. You always. Get me to run. May gets. You always get me. Get me to run. You always run your errands by treating me to dinner. Uh huh. What means errands? Thank you. Errands. Mandados. Okay. This is como hacer tus mandados, correr, hacer tus mandados. Ajá, y puedes traducir esto, Malvin. Yo Tú siempre me haces correr eh, para, eh, tus mandados by treating me. No sé cómo, cómo se le dice. Hey, Alvin, can you pay my electricity bill? I will invite you to dinner, okay? I will invite you to dinner if, mm. if, you, do, if you pay the electricity bill. Yes? Okay. okay. Ese, ese es el mandado. Anda, apagame el inicio la luz y te invito a cenar, okay? Yo te pago la cena. That's the way. So you, you treat... Una cosa por otra. I, exactly. I'm treating you. I'm treating you. Te estoy... Um, te estoy jugando, pues, Choco. Estoy jugando, Choco. Okay. John and Michelle. This is not Michael. Michelle. May. May. May their children learn dancing. Si dijese God, tendría que ser to learn. Got their children to learn dancing. Okay. My friends. Got me to got join. Me to join. Them. For dinner. Them for dinner. Though I was even thought I was tired. Made me join them for dinner. Even though I was tired. No, porque estoy dando la opción de tú. El cuidado, los exámenes aquí son igual. Siempre te hacen trampa en algo. Very good, guys. Got two. Or solo made. Excellent. And... Oh, okay. Well, last night. Okay, last night I, I got, got to, I got I got my younger sister I got my younger sister to sleep telling her I'm telling her story her stories. Excellent. Uh Rita Crash parents got her to to temple with them. Hmm. Oh no, May, May. Yes. Yes, May. Uh huh. To the temple with them, May. Yeah, Rita's grandparents made her go to the temple with them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, made her go. Excellent. Very good. That's May. Okay, uh, Patty, is that right? Patty, are you around? Yeah. No? Okay. So here, Peter, Maria, Soledad. Um, Peter May, his wife learned English. Perfect. Peter May. And I'm sure we had them almost good. We jumped one of the, yeah, we, we jumped one of the um, questions. Okay. Good. So that was the first part, and you have to go to uh, page 27 on your on your manual, okay? So you can complete the exercise. I will check the attendance one last time, guys. That's part of the process. Really quick, Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. 
Here. Marvin José Aguilar Martínez. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodríguez Guzmán. Here. Berta Patricia Alemán de Argueta. Present. Gracias. I mean, thank you. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernández. Here. Xiomara Hernández de Linky. No? Okay. Alvin José Silva Romero. Presente. María Elena Tamayo Ventura. Thank you. Thank you. Eunice Paz Jiménez. Here. Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Didn't make it. Okay. okay. Um, Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. Oh. Melissa Yvette Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Saida Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you. Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. And Francisco here. Villalobos. Here. Aleida. Raquel Vasquez Unzin. Here, teacher. Okay, thank you, guys. Here, teacher. Me. <gasps> Maria Soledad Gomez. Oh, my God. Didn't I mention you? No. Yeah, there you are. Okay. I'm <laughs> here. I'm here. Okay. Good. Chicos, eh, un minuto. Ya terminamos la clase, pero eh, ayer fue refuerzo. Eh, no sé qué pasó. Incluso, algunos esperaban entrar. A Josué lo saqué porque tenía, estaba muy entretenido con María Elena y era la primera vez que María Elena estaba conmigo. Entonces, me quedé esperando a Marvin, a quien tú, Zaira quería entrar. Bueno, eh, bueno, pero el punto, ah no, Abigail. Eh, chicos, aprovechen ese tiempo. Igual me pueden escribir, no importa la hora que sea, yo aquí paso en la casa y lo más que necesito yo les contesto. ¿Verdad? Algunos incluso les he dejado tarea específica para poderles ayudar en eh, el aprendizaje. Estoy a la voz cuando me quieran escribir, ¿verdad? Y pues, pasen una feliz noche. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Good night.